I feel like we are news anchors right now and I'm here for it. This just in, we're planting beans so that they will grow in the backyard when the weather gets warmer. Now I was Billy. thinking the same thing. You never talk over each other on live TV You like don't. That. Oh God, Unless someone cuts a commercial. Oh. Hey, it's Billy. And it's Pat. And, and we're, we're planting, planting beans. beans. That's a normal thing to do, right? It is March, and that means we are very much looking forward to nice weather. Yes, we definitely are. We're getting a little... Stir crazy? Stir crazy. <laughs> We've had some really nice weeks here, and some really cold weeks then, so now we're, you know, we've had a taste, and now we're ready to be outside again. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna start some of our backyard gardening projects indoors while we can, uh, and that starts with planting some really cool beans. Okay, so what the heck kind of beans are we going to be planting today, Billy? These are Ruby Moon Hyacinth Vine... Vines. Beans. Vines. Beans. Beans! Why are there so many words in the name? <laughs> Ruby Moon Hyacinth Bean Vine. These seeds are from my mom and dad's house. My dad collected them at the end of last season. My parents had them go around their garage door growing, mm -hmm. and they're beautiful. They're... Um, they're big. very, they're big leaves that are greenish and purplish and they have flowers that are like purple and pink and really bright. They're just beautiful and people mm -hmm. always notice them. Well, the coolest thing about them too is, is the actual pods that the mm. seeds grow in. They're these big, huge, like shiny purple pods. Waxy, yeah. Yeah, they're really, really cool. It's mm -hmm. like they're just, the leaves are pretty, the flowers are pretty, and yeah. then they have these big purple pods. And my dad collected seeds only from the purple pods so that we'd get more plants that tend to have purple pods. This whole vlog is basically a dang tongue twister. The Hyacinth Moonbeam Purple Pod People Planning Pod moon Planner beam. Project. I don't know, I don't, what is it called? The planet moon. The planet moon. It almost kind of looks like what the Earth looks like when you're a bazillion miles away from the planet yes. moon. Yes, yes, I the just planet squinted moon. at it. From and you're the right. moon, looking back from at the, the planet Earth. moon. What is this video about? If the moon isn't a bean, I don't know what it would be. I can't stand to be seen. I can't be seen. stand to be seen. Because <laughs> I knew it was not a planet. planet. I can't the even stand it. The moon is not a planet. What else is it if it's not a planet? It is not. So we went to Home Depot. We got one of these. Planter bean contraptions. Mm -hmm. uh, what is this? This is a, a indoor like seed starter thing. Yeah. So I right now I'm making the holes to drop the beans in. We do have a lot of beans, mm -hmm. um, and it says you can do one to two per placement in here. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd say we could drop a bean into each, and then the extras will just double up in a few of them. I'm holding the bean. I am really looking forward to the yard. I know in one of our more recent videos, we talked about um, the fact that we're gonna build a fence, or I should say a fence is gonna get built somehow. Well, I'm still working on the details. Um, and the fence project is really the first thing because we did do all of the tilling and the grass and um, the leveling of the yard. So uh, fence is gonna come first, but we do have a lot of plants that we gotta get going, right? Because if you miss the very beginning of the season, we have three not catch up. raised planter beds. So for the first time, I'm not using these small pots outside for tomatoes and peppers and things like that. We actually have like big beds now, which I've also never done like viney growing plants. Mm -hmm. well, not these specifically, um, but you know, squash, zucchini, things like that. So I'm excited to like figure out which one's gonna be the best for that. But instead of buying the plants already grown, we actually can start them early. I think that's kind of cool. And then what do you what do you do? You just have to put some water in this tray and then put the lid on? Yeah, it's got it's got this moisture tray underneath it that is actually Ooh. Yeah. The un, it's not moist on the top, but the underneath is like a sponge. And then the bottom fills with water and continually soaks up into that sponge underneath here so it oh, keeps this cool. moist and then we put the cover on it while there's seeds still, which helps get them their juices flowing, and then once they sprout, you take the lid off, and then you let them just grow in the sun by the window, and hopefully we have some nice vines to pick from. First, we'll add a little water. Ooh. Maybe I'll just add water down here. Cool, man. Cool, man. Look at that. Little hyacinth, moon, vine. Shoot, what are they again? 
Blue, blue moon? No. Dreamy moon? No. Nope. Purple moon? Dr moon dream. Dream moon? Moon dream? Sailor moon? Sailor moon? Is that know. what Google said? I don't know what No, it I don't says. like that at all. I don't even Me know what either. that means. Well, stay tuned for a garden update very soon. Until then, we now return you to your regularly scheduled programs. See you next time. Bye. Signing out. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you plant, the more of the fruit. Great.